How's it going guys? This is Double Wide 6 and today we're talking about how to hook up a generator to your panel. The first thing that you want to do is uh, find yourself a certified electrician that can do the work for you but we'll show you how mine is wired up. So we'll open up the door and up top there, right there is the most important thing. This is called the generator interlock. And basically what it is, is it's a safety device. If you hook up your generator wrong to your panel, and let's say you're running power into your panel and uh, the power's turned off at your house because uh, the wire got knocked down, what you can do accidentally is you can back feed the power lines and actually electrocute someone. So you want to have this interlock device. And basically what this does, if you look here, it I cannot turn on my generator right now because this switch is physically blocked. It will not go on. The only way I can turn on the switch is if my interlock slides up. See, this is made to go up, but it will not go off up unless my main is turned off. By turning off that main breaker, what you're doing is if you're back feeding your generator into here, you're preventing power from going out to the power lines and electrocuting some, someone. To hook up your generator directly to the panel without an interlock is illegal. You could kill someone and you could actually do jail time. There's a website, I think it's called like interlock.com, something like that. If you search for interlock, you can find these devices. You have to figure out what type of electric panel that you have. You can look on the door, there should be a sticker. Mine's a Siemens. And the interlock website is pretty handy because it shows all kinds of good pictures so you can make sure it's the exact panel that you have. And you can buy that part and uh, that's important. Alright guys, now we're outside the house and you're looking at my generator inlet box. This thing is a PB30, it's a 30 amp inlet device for a generator. It's made by Reliance Controls. Basically all I have to do is take the extension cord that's plugged into my generator and plug it into here. So the extension cord goes from here to the generator into the four prong outlet. Pretty simple. So here's a look in here how the uh, panel is wired up. That 30 amp breaker, it's a double 30 and uh, you got to look at what type of generator and what size, how many amps breaker you need. Um, it has a black and a red, they're both hot wires and uh, there's also a white and a ground and all those wires are 10 gauge and they run down to the uh, bottom of my panel where they actually go through the panel and out the wall to uh, outside to the uh, inlet box. So in the event of a power outage, what you want to do is you want to take your generator and you want to wheel the thing outside. Fill it up with gas, start it up. Let it run for five to ten minutes. That'll get all the electricity flowing right so it's producing the right hertz and amount of electricity. Let it run outside. Okay, the next thing you want to do is go to your main panel. When you get to your main panel, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to turn off your house's main. So you're going to go up here to this switch and you're going to turn it off. That's your main breaker. That'll turn off any power coming into the house. It will also prevent any power that's coming out of the generator from going to the electrical lines. Once that is off, what you can do is slide up this interlock device. You can slide it all the way up and then at that point when this breaker is off um, that will allow you to turn on your generator uh, um, breaker okay but before you turn that on once your main powers off you are going to turn off 
every single breaker in the house. Every single one, you're gonna push them all over to the left. All right, I'm not flipping the breakers because my wife will be out here freaking out at me. You turn off all the breakers on this side too, so everything is off, okay? Then, now that everything is completely off, you take the other end of the extension cord from the generator and you're going to plug that in on the outside of the house. All right, so we're at the inlet box. Now, what you wanna do is, you wanna remember that that breaker is still turned off inside. You're gonna plug the other end of this extension cord, your 10 gauge four extension cord will get plugged in there and lock in place, okay? Now that there is power flowing from the generator to the inlet box and all other breakers are turned off including the house's main at that point you're going to be able to flip on your generator uh, breaker so you'll you'll flip this 30 amp breaker and what that will do is energize the panel so now um, everything in the panel is basically getting power however there's no power going to any devices in the house because all the breakers are flipped to the off position. And then what you would do is turn on your appliances basically one at a time. So like I would need my well pump, so I'd flip that one on, okay? I don't need my central heat or uh, air conditioning, so those would just stay in the off position. Uh, the water heater, I wanna leave that off. The dryer I'd probably leave off. But lights, outlets, things like that, um, the sewage ejector pump, all that type of stuff, the range, you can probably keep off because that's um, gonna use a lot of uh, wattage. But like the septic system, I need that stuff running. So the essential things that you need, you'll turn on. And it'd probably be a good idea to color code the breakers that you want turned on in an event of an emergency. All right, guys. So basically, in, in conclusion, I think what you should know is uh, a generator is a nice device to use when your power's out. It can power your house and make things a lot better. You're probably not going to be able to power everything in your house unless you have uh, another alternative source of energy besides electricity or if you have a very small house. So for instance, if you have like propane heat, uh, you know, that you'll be really comfortable during a power outage where I'm on all electric, so I'm not able to power everything. Um, basically, I think you can get a generator um, anywhere from about $600 up to uh, about $1,500, uh, about the size of the one that I have. Um, and uh, to wire up your panel, uh, you can have an electrician out and they'll probably charge you somewhere between three and $600 to wire up the generator. So uh, I think overall, um, probably under you know two thousand dollars I would say it's pretty cheap insurance if your power is going to be out for over a week we were out for about five and a half days with Sandy and I wish I had my generator then but I have it now and uh, next time there's an outage it should really be a walk in the park for us so I hope you found this video interesting I hope you learned a few things and uh, you should check out my other videos on my channel. I'm Double Wide Six. Thanks for watching. See ya.